see police vehicles now moving down, pushing the protesters down this street. Protesters who've come out against the global security law draft bill that's being discussed in the National Assembly on Tuesday evening. This is a law which includes an element which, if passed, could make it illegal for people to disseminate, to record and uh, allow and publish images of police officers if there is intent to harm. Uh, Criminalisation of that act could lead to one year in prison and a 45,000 euro fine. We have seen police battening and th thwacking protesters, trying to move them uh, from the streets behind us. You can see that there's a, a row of police vehicles here, that water cannon as well. That's been used tonight, as has ample tear gas. <laughs> I've seen women having their hair yanked and being used to be grabbed by their hair, to be thrown to the floor by police officers, medics being hit by police batons. And in fact, as we were just at that metro station filming some of the, that violence against the protesters, we ourselves were forcibly chucked out by the police. My cameraman grabbed by officers while he was filming, while we were trying to do an interview, and ejected from that crowd. This protest has been called by journalists' unions, by NGOs, and the law has been criticised by the UN as being dangerous in terms of its democratic consequences. The bill could lead to significant violations of human rights and fundamental freedoms, in particular the right to privacy and the right to freedom of expression. Intent is a concept that is open to interpretation and hard to determine. Any photos or videos showing identifiable police officers that are published or broadcast by critical media outlets or are accompanied by critical comments could find themselves being accused of seeking to harm these police officers. For journalists, the legal risk exists and the possibility of conviction would be real. Images of the police at protests have been used time and time again to show the violence that's been used. This law would essentially stop that. That's what unions say. They say that it is censorship. However, the government says this law is needed to protect police officers from the violence because while I'm talking about the police hitting protesters, trying to move them around, we have also seen violence towards the police this evening. We've seen bottles thrown towards them, fires being lit. We have seen destruction here on the streets of Paris with uh, you know, um, uh, bus shelters being smashed in. So there is violence on both sides and the government says that this law is needed to protect the police. Police unions say it doesn't go far enough. And if it is a choice between freedom of the press and liberty when it comes to showing these images or the security of their officers, they will side with the security of their officers every time. Anybody who would be found guilty of that if this law passed would find themselves one year behind jail or with a fine of €45,000. That is a severe punishment. But let you tell me this a severe punishment is being on the front lines in an evening like this when the tensions are so high and there is that attack from the police possibly because they're also afraid of the protesters uh, but the reality is it has been a brutal night with violence from both sides but from where we have stood that violence has been mainly coming from the police towards protesters who for the most part we haven't witnessed them doing anything to well deserve some of the violence that I, I've observed this evening.